There's a new trend coming in 2021. <laughs> you know what it is? Motto ski, baby. Yeah, uh, bring yeah. the 80s back. Bring them on back. No. No. You guys got to go on a ski trip to Kiefer Lodge. Steep, deep powder. And that you got deep. to be on the 2021 skis from K2. Shh. <laughs> this is secret. Don't tell anybody. But that said, I want you guys to tell these people how awesome those 2021 K2s were. How'd they ride? What's the difference? What should they be thinking about when they look at a powder ski? Is that cool? Is that something you can do? We can do that. Johnny, can we do that? I think so. And we can do it. if all else fails, we'll go mono ski, baby. Yeah, right this on. This thing's awesome. All right, Half-Life family. So Johnny and I just got back from Kiefer Lake Lodge up uh, outside of Kelowna, BC. And uh, it's an operation about five years old. And uh, we had 14 of our best buddies up there, filled our own cat, and it was deep. Johnny, what was your favorite thing about Kiefer? Oh, Kiefer. Well, the, the crew was awesome. The guides were awesome. Jalapeno, the photographer, and just the, the whole vibe, the lodge. Oh, right. Every, everything was sweet, and uh, you know the, the skiing was awesome. How nice were those cats? The cats were sweet too. Yeah. yeah, you get in those cats, you kick up, you've got your water bottles, you've got your hot soup, you've got your sandwich, you've got your Bluetooth speakers. You're just kicking back, rocking your way up. It it's sweet. It's sweet. And the snow, we hit it right. It was deep, perfect conditions for testing skis. So uh, we were lucky enough, the K2 rep gave me two of next year's powder skis, uh, the Reckoner 122 and uh, the Mindbender 116. And uh, we took both of those, as well as uh, one of this year's uh, Armada JJ116s to have a benchmark ski to compare. And uh, God, the biggest problem I thought was uh, just picking a favorite. They were all good. Did you have any uh, favorites between those, Johnny? Yeah, well, I don't know if you can pick a, pick a favorite. They're yeah. all great, but what you can definitely tell is, uh, you know, they ski different, kind of depending on what your style is, how you like to ski, um, just the different sizes. Um, you yeah, know, it, was, it was great. Yeah, you mentioned sizes, and that's a great point we should mention. Um, you know, most people think that a powder ski is so wide that you might want to go shorter than your normal ski, but it's actually the exact opposite. Um, if I ski my normal everyday inbound ski in like a 185, I'm taking a powder ski in a 191, 192. You've got so much rocker um, and you want more surface area in that deep snow. So powder skis, people generally go a few centimeters longer than their everyday carving ski. Um, so yeah, let's get into the skis. Personally, um, when the snow is three, four feet deep and just bottomless, I like that Reckoner 122. That ski's got a little more forward mounting position, gets you up and you just get up and surf on it. When you get airborne, you have a very centered balanced landing platform to keep you from going over the front or getting back on the tails. Um, that ski was soft, it's solid underfoot, bouncy, playful, no speed limit. Personally, in those conditions, that was probably my favorite. What do yeah. you think? I would say, yeah, absolutely. I agree, that Reckoner, when it's deep, that's a ski one. It was, uh, yeah. Speed great, great through the turns, through the trees. You know, you could still throw it around pretty quickly. Um, it's that's a great ski. Yeah, and that's part of being mounted a little more forward on that ski. It, it comes around super quick. We skied some tight trees at some high speeds, and you needed to be on it, and uh, that ski did it all. But not to discount the mind bender, um, that 116. A little more traditional ski, a little more directional. I mean, you're mounted a few centimeters further back. It's got a tip shape that uh, isn't tapered so early. So when you do hit snow that has some bottom to it, um, it's a ski you can dig in and carve and ski a little more, uh, ski more directional, get a little more power out of it. So I would say inbounds, a foot of snow, and you're bouncing around between making some carve turns and skiing some deep snow. Um, that mind bender would be a great inbounds powder day ski. Yeah, I, I really like the Mindbender. It, for me, it was kind of pretty forgiving type yeah. of ski, but it, what I liked about it is you can tell it just has a, a, a large range of utilities. So, yeah, and that's what you know. everybody said. We had a few guys ski on that ski, and uh, they all thought just the, the range, what you can do on that ski was was endless. You yeah, know? The, the Mindbender, that's like a one ski quiver type of ski. You can you know, ride it in the deep stuff. You can ride it probably on groomers. I mean, it's a, it was a great ski. Yeah, that thing was awesome. So, um, so that kind of covers the two K2s. We loved them both. 
And then the last thing we brought up was um, this year's ski. It wasn't anything new and fancy for next year, but the Armada JJ. And we brought this kind of as a benchmark. This ski has been super popular through the last you know, five years. It's been a benchmark POW ski. And uh, it's a little more like the Reckoner and the mounting position's kind of centered on the ski. It's got a lot of tip and tail rocker. Um, again, when you get up in the air and come down on this, you feel like you have a solid platform to land on. You're not getting thrown one way or the other. That's a ski I really like. And um, we both thought it was felt a little more solid or a little stiffer underfoot. So when you get this thing at the speed, it is solid. It doesn't want to get thrown around. So great ski for skiing fast, balanced, yeah. playful. Um, yeah, it's hard Armada, to complain. It's, it's a classic ski. It's been great for a long time. It was it was fun to have on the trip. I felt like on that Armada, it was a little little stiffer, but it it likes speed. So if yeah. if you're aggressive, you like going fast. The Armada is a great great ski for you there. I'd say so. So that pretty much wraps up the three skis we skied on at Kiefer Lake Lodge. And uh, moral of the story, you can't make a mistake with any one of those. We had a great time on all of them. And uh, it was a great time. Awesome. Sweet. Dudes, Kiefer yeah. Lake Lodge with the 2021 skis. That is awesome. The fact that you got to test those and see what they're like, that is killer. I appreciate the review. Thank you for the time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our video, and come back soon. What do you say? I say thumbs up, Timmy. <laughs> Check you later. <laughs>